Vinny, you stole my daughter's Minecraft account. Now you gotta pay. Here's what the family does to pieces of shit like you. Yeah! Whoa. Let me just start off by saying that this entire video is sponsored by Universal Pictures for the new movie Nobody starring Bob Odenkirk that came out on March 26th, which is crazy. In this video, I was challenged by Universal to recreate some scenes from this new movie where I worked with a 30 year veteran stunt coordinator that actually worked on the film. And they gave me pretty much 30 days to figure out how I was gonna pull all of this together. This project was probably one of the most nerve wracking and daunting projects that I have ever taken on with this channel. I mean, I went to film school. This is my degree, and this is Universal Pictures that's knocking on my door right now. You know, -na 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 -na. I mean, you get, you get what I'm talking about. You best believe that I'm gonna welcome them in and put on a hot pot of coffee with a side of intense anxiety, god damn. So without further ado, follow me on my journey as I train to be a Hollywood action star in just about 30 days. Here we go. Okay, so the journey of being able to convincingly recreate a scene from this film, Nobody, began with being introduced to the stunt coordinator that worked on this film, Daniel Bernhardt. Daniel is pretty much as legit as they come when it comes to creating stunt scenes and just action films in general. One movie that he worked on that would be especially convincing to those of you who are not convinced would be goddamn John Wick. Dude, I mean, look at him go. He's right here in a fight scene in this new movie and he gets to get his teeth knocked out by Bob Odenkirk himself. What a dream, right? These aren't some ho-dunk shenanigans that are going on here. I will actually be learning how to fight in a movie from the pros. And then suddenly they showed me a message that was directed to me from Bob Odenkirk himself. Hey, Ted. Hey, so you went to film school, huh? Wow, that's great. So. So you think you can perform some movie magic and then that'll make you look like a badass? You might want to think again, buddy. I'm going to be honest with you guys right now. This is when the entire goal of the video changed for me a little bit. Okay, sure, I want to make a quality action scene to fulfill the inner filmmaker demons that are constantly clawing to burst out of my chest like some sort of passion-based xenomorph. But I was told that Bob Odenkirk himself will be seeing this video, the big man. Better Call Saul, Breaking Bad. Apparently he was in How I Met Your Mother, but let me ask you this, Bob, have you met Ted? So my goals have now changed from impressing a transnational multimedia conglomerate to Bob Odenkirk himself. The individual. So Bob, come on, man. I'm doing this for you. You don't believe me? Check this out. Ha! Sweet old Bob. This one's for you. About several weeks later, after practicing some moves that Daniel had taught to me over Zoom, I was ready to meet up with Daniel in person. So after getting COVID tested, I headed to 87 North's training facility to train with Daniel and learn the ropes on being an action star. All right, folks, here we are at 87 North with Mr. Daniel Bernhardt, the master stuntman from the stars. Some say that he came from space. Sometimes I wonder myself if I'm coming from space. From the mouth of the man himself. <laughs> I'm here to learn how to be an action star, essentially. Let's go, follow me. This is where it all started with Bob, I right here. I feel so connected to you right you now, are? Daniel. Beyond my wildest dreams. How do you feel? I'm already sweating. Good, I like it. Uh, well, you're doing really good. Oh, we're bringing it around town. Yeah. What do you call that, around town? Oh, that's a SpongeBob reference. I like SpongeBob. Yeah? You know how much SpongeBob I've watched when my daughter was a little girl? How much? <laughs> Every day. <laughs> well, I actually do know one move. Do you know? Can I show it to you? And go, wait! Ah! That's really good. That was actually really good because he's actually extremely strong. In our world, everything is about turning your hip. Anytime you throw a punch, it's my hip that turns, right? One can say the hips don't lie. Exactly. 
He's training me to be an action star. Daniel's training me to be an action star. I'm doing it for the glory of Bob Odenkirk. I'm doing it to impress goddamn Bob Odenkirk. Good. <laughs> yeah, it's no problem. Yeah, I do this. I do. I do this all the time. I me and my buddy Daniel. We get down to the gym too. Quick punches and hooks. My favorite thing to do. Oh, oh. Very good. So this is what you're doing right now. You're doing this great. Now you're doing this. You're going up like that, right? Yeah, I have, tr so. I have trouble with that. Now as he ducks, do this. Mm. Nice okay, reaction. Here we go. Good one more I'm time. so sorry. Give me back my bionicle. Ugh. Uh, fuck you. <laughs> That's my nerd's rope. Ugh. I like Cool Ranch Doritos. Ugh. Weirdly enough, that was the best. Really? <laughs> so what Daniel and the rest of the guys were teaching me were the move sets for two action scenes that they wanted me to recreate from the film. The first one was a shortened version of the bus scene. This is a scene where Bob Odenkirk's character Hutch Mansell is fighting a bunch of ruffians in a bus, and he it's just brutal. He just beats the crap out of them, and it's it's crazy. We gotta do our bus scene. Now, obviously, you don't have a bus at home, so you have to create this in your house. Okay. You know? This is Ted right on the scene for the bus scene. Things are getting pretty crazy here. Dude's taking off his jacket. He's looking pretty buff. He is shredded and he's got a gun. That's never a good combination. Super slow, super slow. Nice. Nice. Now, usually when we do this, like we know exactly what camera's gonna do. So let's say if camera's right there, I know I cannot punch here. I know I'm gonna punch here. Right. Here's a question for you. What sort of stuff do you put in your hair? I put stuff in my hair and I'm sweating, but your hair, it's like. It's, it's an absolute secret, which I shared with Jeremy. It's called Are you it's, sure it's, it's not like Gorilla Glue? Very interesting to be in a place where I'm surrounded by 100% people that are far more athletic than me in practically every way. But there's only one milkman. That is so true. There Thank you, you for mentioning that. There's only one, one milkman. milkman. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Stumble oh. back. You come back, turn the other way. It's easier yeah, for you. Yeah, you think so? Because look, if you, if you turn this way, and then you have to punch that way, yeah, it's not Yeah, it is good. a little goofy, so isn't it? So come back this way, then you can punch with your wrist. Somebody t stole my Cheez-Its. <laughs> I stole those Cheez-Its. No! Slow down, slow down, oh. slow down, yeah. Slow down, you slow down. son of a Slow bee. down, nice. Somebody stole my Minecraft account. <laughs> Who plays Minecraft anymore? Ugh. Actually, I do! <laughs> and then you've got the house invasion scene, which is a scene where a bunch of armed members of the Russian mob are invading Hutch's home, and he has to fight them off with stuff that he finds around his house. We're moving on now from the bus scene to the, the indoor scene, so I'm gonna learn how to fight the guys with the guns. That should be pretty good. I'm exhausted. The first hit to the face, boom. Second, you hit the gun down. Super slow, slower, slower. He comes back, you knock the gun out of his hand, to the face, double hit to the face. Wow. Hey, Vinny, you stole my daughter's Minecraft account. Now you gotta pay. Here's what family does to pieces of shit like you. Yeah! So I just finished my training session here at 87 North with all of these wonderful magical boys stuntmen deluxe. We've got Mr. Daniel, Alec, Anthony, Dave, and Jeremy on the camera. That's me! So thank you guys so much. This was actually really, really cool. I had a fantastic time. So thank okay, you guys cool. so much. Boom. Boom. So now that I had finished my training with Daniel, all of the pressure was on me to actually put this thing together. Luckily for me, Universal provided me with a care package of a bunch of things that would help me recreate the scene. Let's see what we got. A completely rubber AR-15. Like this is the magazine for it. And it looks pretty damn realistic too. Bam! They also gave me a rubber Uzi and rubber pistol. They gave me two of these breakaway bats, a fake knife, and a rubber cast iron pan. Check this out. If you didn't know any better, you would definitely think that this is a pan. However, one of the problems was 
I had to be fighting the bad guys, so I couldn't also play the bad guys myself. What do I look like, Mr. Million Hands? Yeah, what, what do I look like, like I have one million hands? I had to assemble a team. And at this point, I pretty much had less than a week to throw this all together. So I contacted my buddy Ryan Leader. He's a fantastic YouTuber. He does a bunch of sketches online. And I asked him if he wanted to be part of this action scene. And he did me a total solid and brought on fellow sketch comedians Sir Spence and their friend Hunter to help me complete the trio for this action scene. I had to teach them the entire choreography of the scene in less than two days. It was like action boot camp. And honestly, these guys did a fantastic job learning quickly. While action scenes may not necessarily be these guys' main line of work, they were super down the whole time and we actually managed to learn the entire bus scene in like a matter of a couple of hours. At the same time that I was working with my three beautiful stunt boys, I also had to figure out who was going to shoot it. Who was going to shoot this action scene that I was acting in? If I wanted to impress Bob Odenkirk, then I had to put a whole film crew together. That was the only way. I was able to contact an old film friend of mine, Christina Shing, who has directed a slew of these incredible music videos and films. And she was able to put me in contact with her main man for director of photography, Shane Bagwell. And through him, we were able to get a sound guy, a gaffer, a grip, a first assistant camera, and an assistant director. And if we're getting this whole film crew together, I mean, we might as well shoot on an Aria Alexa cinema camera, I mean, why not? One of the things that was really important for the house scene was to make it look like it was very similar to the film and that it hit all of the beats with Daniel's choreography that he made for me, but also worked within the space that I already had. And obviously I'm not gonna be able to have the same set that Bob Odenkirk worked with for this fucking YouTube video that I'm doing. So I had to be really creative on how I went about blocking the scene so it worked and made sense. Finally, I had to add that extra pizzazz to make this scene truly my own. Own. Some piece of my YouTube channel that was undeniably me. So I decided to bring in a little blast from the past from my YouTube channel lore, The Milkman. The Milkman is one of the most powerful characters in the Ted Nivison universe, as far as we know, and there is no other character that I would want to represent my power as an action star for the glory of Bob Odenkirk. So after training with Daniel, teaching the moves to my stuntmen, hiring all of the crew, planning out every shot and making sure the blocking was perfect, a 12 hour day of shooting action scenes nonstop and editing this scene to be as brutal and ridiculous ridiculous as possible. Without further ado, I present to you my recreation of these scenes from Nobody. Enjoy. What are you doing here, Milkman? I'm gonna fuck you up. <laughs> <laughs> I got this.
Wait, look. It's Bob Odenkirk in a giant TV in the sky. All right, I gotta admit, you proved yourself to be a worthy student. Very nice. Oh, thank you, Bob Odenkirk. I appreciate that. Some might have doubted you. Ah, I mean, that was you, so. But you were able to find and unleash your inner rage. Oh, thank you. I'm angry all the time. Congrats on becoming a nobody. <sighs> thank you, Bob. I did it for you. I did it for you, Bob. I did it for you! <laughs> and there he goes. Sweet old Bob. Always on another adventure. So there you have it, folks. That was how I recreated these scenes from Nobody. This was probably one of the coolest projects that I have ever worked on on this channel, as I've said. And it was really cool to be able to combine my interest as a filmmaker with my YouTube channel and just make something ridiculous. So I really hope that you guys found this video interesting. Make sure to check out Universal's new film, Nobody, starring Bob Odenkirk. It's gonna be available on paid video on demand starting April 16th. I really do recommend it. It's a fun ride. So yeah. Thanks for watching this video. Subscribe, like, peace out.